Hey there, internets. I'm Michael, and this is Two Can Play That Game, bringing you the finale of our playthrough of Above and Below by Red Raven Games. I'm going to start by adventuring, I think. So we'll send the usual duo, and they're going to go for paragraph 16. What do we have? What do we have? As you're venturing along a cobbled cave road, your path is suddenly blocked by a grey wolf, its eyes shining menacingly in the darkness. The wolf suddenly speaks in a voice like two rocks scraping together. Who dares enter my lair? He says. Do you run away and hide or stand and fight for your lives? Well, you see, last time I ran away, but that was a fish-eating thing. This time it's just a wolf. I mean, how scary can a wolf be? So, let's see. Uh, run and hide is explore two. Stand and fight, explore four or explore six. I am so standing and fighting. So, Frogman, how's your fighting skills? Not so good. Reroll. And second reroll. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's better. So that's free. Uh, so I need a, I really would like five or more here. Uh, but either way, I've succeeded. Ugh. No, and I'm out of rerolls. So that's ugh, five. Explore five. Or I could injure someone. I have got a potion, so I'm going to injure the guy who did badly. That seems fair. So <laughs> Fish Boy is going to get injured. Uh, which gives me Explore 6 and another cave to add to my growing cave collection. Explore 6, you defeat the wolf and gain 6 coins as a reward and plus 2 reputation. So I'm now getting bonus points at the end of the game for my reputation. Very nice. And 6 coins is pretty good too. So it is Pixels Go, and let's have them go adventuring. So we're going to send Old Man and, uh, I don't know that I ever named this guy. So what do they get? A five, which is 53. Your party finds a wooden trapdoor in the floor of the cave. It is quite heavy, but you manage to open it. Below the door is a deep pit. Holding your lanterns out over the ledge, you spot a pile of gold coins at the bottom. Sitting next to the coins is a woman, but you can't quite see her face. She has long brown hair that covers most of her back. Her skin is pale and spotted, and she shifts slightly in the lantern light. The sight of the woman sends shivers down your spine. But there is a lot of gold down there. And perhaps the poor woman just needs help. Do you attempt to get the gold and save the woman? Or do you shut the trap door and continue on your way? So, options. Shut the trap door and keep going. Explore free. Or attempt to get the woman and the gold out. It seems that the noble thing to do would be to try and save the woman. However, she's scary looking, so let, let's just shut the door. So let's see, can we do this quietly enough? Uh, so we've got three lanterns, uh, so four lanterns, so explore four, and we only need to explore three. So we do succeed in shutting the trap door and wandering off. We do, however, then find a mushroom. But it, apparently it was a bit of a dodgy thing to do and we lose some reputation. I'm going to shove that mushroom straight in there because I don't have any mushrooms, so I'm not too worried about them. And I have another cave. So back over to me. Well, I have quite a lot of money. I'm going to send someone building and try and get me some more re-rolls. So I'll buy this building here for five. 
So that explore paid off quite nicely. We've got a lot of money here now. But I want to make sure I don't forget to harvest that pear. So I could do either a build or a recruit with the money. So Pixel is going to build and she's going to pay four to build this outpost here. And that will get a fish on it. And then our new outpost, ooh, has some amethyst, which is uh, one of the rarest of items. Then I'm gonna send this girl out to recruit. And I'm gonna recruit this building guy here. Now, because I bought this building previously, he goes into my ready area. And it's Pixels Go, she's gonna send two people harvesting. They're gonna get a pear and a fish. And I'm just gonna put the fish there. I'm gonna put the pear in the track now, I think. I think it's that time. And it's background to me, and I'm gonna go adventuring with my newest recruits here. And they're gonna get a six, which is 23. Your party passes a boulder and you come upon two strange creatures. They have round red eyes and rough grey skin. Rows of spikes protrude from their backs and in their thick hands are crude spears. You've heard of their kind from other travellers in town. Yes, in fact, from, from the amphibian guys. They are called Glogos. Travellers aren't welcome here. Turn back or die, they say. Do you try to reason with them or fight them? So reason with them is explore three, explore five. Fight them is explore four, explore seven. Now, you see, if it wasn't for the fact that they hadn't heard from their other villagers here that Glogos were nice, they would probably be trying to fight them. Although, they're quite likely to get a high explore rating. No, they know the right thing to do from the amphibians is to reason with them. So, let's try the aggressive tribal girl here. She rolls a two, that's, that's not great. Um, let's use one of my three re-rolls. That's better, a five. And then the boilet. Uh, you got a two. Let's use a second reroll. A one. Final reroll. A four. That's much better. So that's six lanterns. So explore five was the better reason with them result. So you do successfully reason with them. You gain two coins, a mushroom, and plus two reputation. I'm going to take mushroom off sale. No one seems to be buy, buying mushroom anyway. And they are exhausted. Um, let's start a second cave collection. And that's actually the end of the round because both of us have used all our villagers. So we delve deeper down. So penultimate round. We would refresh the cider but there's already one there. We shift our villagers along and put a new one out. And resting villagers. Um, I'm going to use my potion to bring fish boy back from being injured. And then I've got five beds so I want fish boy. She's pretty good. He's good. He's good. So, uh, got those guys. Um, then we can either have a trainer or a builder. And we'll go for the trainer. Meanwhile, Pixel here only has five people and five beds, so she'll rest them all up. Then, income 
She's up to seven on this track, plus she's still got that plus one. So she gets eight. And I'm just getting six. And then refreshing the goods, if I can find them, we need a fish on here. And another pear. There we go. And then our first player card moves over to Pixel. And the first thing Pixel wants to do is use her single builder here and pay 11 coins to buy this star building that is worth three village points plus one village point for every mushroom, pear, fish and cider. Then it's back round to me and of course I want to send the fish boys out adventuring. So let's see what we have. Fish boys, well amphibian boys. Two is one three nine. You hear squeaking ahead and moments later encounter the wagon of a subterranean travelling salesman. The wagon is hitched to four enormous ferrets who appear grateful to take a breather. Painted on the side is the proprietor's logo. Below wholesale, a mustachioed man in a half-smashed top hat drops the reins and steps down, bows theatrically. Greetings from below, he bellows. And sorry about the hat. It's hard to keep it at its best in such cramped quarters. Winking at you, he offers to display his wares. As you probably already know, Below Wholesale carries a solid reputation. What you might not know is that for a limited time, we carry a liquid reputation as well. And with this, he nods meaningfully at a small flask which he removes from his jacket. Let me offer you a sample of each. The solid reputation turns out to be a surprisingly palatable brick-shaped treat that tastes not completely unlike chocolate. The liquid reputation tastes uncomfortably like fizzy cod liver oil, but it warms your belly. Somehow you feel better about yourself after taking both. Your options are buy a solid reputation, pay one coin, Buy a liquid reputation, pay three coins. Bid the man farewell and explore the area. Explore six. Well, these guys aren't really traders, these amphibians. They, they came down here for adventure, not to go shopping. I think they're going to carry on. Bidding the man farewell, they continue exploring. And we've got, uh, let's re-roll. We need, we need them both to get fives or more. That's better. So that's a six. So we've got two re-rolls left for Frogman. Yeah, he's going to need one re-roll left after this. Uh, final roll. Oh, four. So we've only got five. We needed explore six. So I think we're going to have to injure someone here. Well, Fishboy took the, the blow last time because he was the failure. This time it's Frogman. So Frogman is going to be injured. Giving us explore six. Meaning that carrying on in our explorations, we find... Two coins and amethyst. And the amethyst can go straight in there. So pixels go once more. Let's see, she needs to go harvesting and he needs to go harvesting. And we don't really have any money. So I think Blondie and Old Man Watsits are going to go exploring.
And what will their adventure be? 177. A mindful of the dark, a blind herbalist peddles her wares here. She seems to have lost her way along with her walking stick. You might be able to fashion her a new one from cave debris. Your options are Carve her a new walking stick and help her find her way. Explore four. Steal from her bag of goods. Explore three. Or explore seven. I don't think it's a good idea to uh, to beat up old women. So they're going to try and help her, which is an explore four. And there's no good start. They don't have any re-rolls. So we need a four or more on this dice. Ah, it's only two. So, uh, yeah, they fail to uh, do it and get no reward. Unless I injure them both. Let's injure them both. So we do succeed. By injuring themselves, they manage it. So they gain a potion and plus one reputation. Oh, well, um, I guess the plus one, no, the plus one reputation isn't gonna really make a difference. Potion will help heal them. <laughs> Might've been better off failing. <laughs> so it is me and I think I'm gonna send this duo off adventuring this time. So, explore away and uh, adventure 43. You turn a corner and come across a huge pile of bones, skulls staring at you with their dead, empty eyes. Moments later, a massive blue cat emerges from the darkness. The cat's eyes are thin slits of purple, its striped bushy tail swinging back and forth. Find us some fish, says the cat, eyeing you angrily. Do you fight the cat, hide from it, or search for some fish to give it? Your options are hide from the cat, explore two. Search for some fish for the cat, explore four. Fight the cat, explore six. Let's go with fight the cat. I, I hate to do it, but and I'm, I'm sure Pixel wouldn't have fought the cat. So, little boy. Oh. Reroll. Oh. Second reroll. That's better. So, we've got one reroll left for the girl. And we didn't need it. We got. So, we've got explore six. So, you defeat the cat and find five coins and some rope. However, you lose one reputation for killing a little kitty. Uh, well, that's, that, I think that's perfectly fair. And they're just going to shove the rope straight in there. And then Pixel is going to send these two off harvesting. Some fish and some pears. And then I'm going to go recruiting. And I'll spend three coins to get the redhead here. And because of my building, she comes in ready. Now, Pixel doesn't have any villagers available, so she's just going to have to pass, making it my turn. And I'm going to spend five to do a building. And I'm gonna get this one here that gives me a bed and it also gives me a potion. And that is then the end of round. So we move down the track for the last time into our last round. We would refresh the cider, but it's still there. We shift these guys down and we put out a new one. And starting with Pixel, we'll rest our villagers. So Pixel is going to use two potions here to uninjure those. And then she has five beds and five villagers. So I have one potion. That will give me Frog Boy back to there. 
Then I've got one, two, three, six beds. So one, two, three, four, five, and we'll go for him for six. So then income, uh, Pixel is getting seven from her goods, plus one, so she gets eight. And I'm getting seven from my goods, and that's it. Then we refresh the goods on Pixel's buildings here. And she'll pass the first player marker over to me. So it's the final round, and what a surprise. I'm going to start off with adventuring, well, exploring. And uh, what shall we find today? Number 45. The party travels through a cave filled with blue crystals, and soon you come upon a fish folk woman. I wonder if it's Fish Boy's mummy. Can you help me find some mushrooms? She asks. My village is running out of food and we need help. Do you help her find mushrooms or ignore her and continue exploring? Search for mushrooms, explore three, explore five. Ignore her and continue exploring. Explore two, explore five. Well, I'm gonna say, you know, got amphibians should stick together so despite it not being the potentially best option they will search for mushrooms and what do they find so frogman free and fish boy well we'll re-roll yeah there we go they needed the one re-roll so there we go six lanterns which is more than enough for the explore five so you search for the mushrooms and you find two mushrooms, which gains you two reputation. I'll uh, put these mushrooms straight in the pile, I think. And that's another cave for the collection. And these two are gonna go off exploring. For Pixel's turn. And what do they find? Uh, four is number 93. You find an old well behind an abandoned stone cave dwelling. As you stop to pull up a drink, you hear soft, soothing singing coming from below. Do you descend to investigate or leave as quickly as possible and keep exploring? Your options are to leave the well quickly, explore two, or descend toward the singing. Explore two does seem rather easy. So let's descend towards the singing, shall we? Your party climbs down the well. Your feet splash into the icy water as you hit the bottom. Holding out your lanterns, you can make out a woman near the far end of the system. She has pale green skin and large, bright, empty eyes. She has no hair, and on the tips of her fingers are long black claws. I think this was a mistake. So glad you could join me, she says. I get so lonely down here. Human bones lie strewn about the well, making your blood turn cold. To your left, you notice a narrow passage where you could run and hide. Do you stand and confront her or try to hide? So stand and fight, explore five, or explore seven. Attempt to hide, explore three. Well, it's the Final round, so I think, uh, I think go large or go home maybe? No, these, these guys are cowards, they're gonna run away. They're gonna run and hide from this poor, uh, scary cannibal woman. Uh, so, oh, and they're actually rolling well. Oh, they got the five, um, 
that's that's a shame. Because uh, they didn't go for that option. Uh, they went for attempt to hide. They went for the safe bet, uh, which was explore free. They have succeeded. They they hid away, and they found while hiding a mushroom. Which they'll add straight into the pile here. But for running and hiding, they lose a reputation. So back round to me once more. And I'm going to send my other duo out adventuring. It's uh, time for adventure, it would seem. And they are encountering number 41. After crawling up the side of a steep cliff, your party comes upon two ragged-looking men with pale beards that stretch far past their sandaled feet. They stare at you with glassy eyes, then finally one of them speaks, his voice like the tearing of ancient paper. We are the immortal ones. Answer our queries, and we shall grant you great knowledge. Fail. And we shall exact punishment. Do you answer their questions or climb back down? Climb back down is an explore two or explore four. Answer their questions is an explore six. I've got a pretty good chance of getting the six, so I'm going to try and answer their questions. So tribal girl, good start. She's got three lanterns and then boilet. Oh, first re-roll, second re-roll, there we go. So we, we didn't even need the final re-roll. So that's six. So answering their questions, I'm rewarded with a piece of paper and plus two reputation. And unfortunately, I've only got space to gain one rep, so I will gain that. Then on pixels go, well, she's got three people left. I think uh, she'll send him building. Uh, she's only got nine coins, so the best I think she can do is to spend three coins on this outpost here, because it will give three village points there, and does give her one rep. So I have two people left here. Uh, both could do building, so I think I'm gonna send this guy here, who was one of my starting guys, off to build a big fancy building for 18 coins which is this star building here uh, which is going to give bonus points for all my other buildings plus it's worth free and then pixel is going to send both these peeps harvesting i'm going to harvest a pear and a fish and we'll add all of our goods i think now to the track here. It's a lot of pairs. <laughs> uh, she's got six money but nothing to do with it at the moment so yep yeah, that's, that's her done. So I've got one villager left but only one coin. It's not really a lot you can do with just one coin. I've got nothing to harvest so I'll send them labouring which will get me a cider and a coin. And that is the end of the game. So let's do the end game scoring. So our final scoring will start with me here. So on the advancement track. So each of these is worth one. And we've got five mushrooms there. I collect, managed to collect an awful lot of those. So that's five. Then we've got one for the pot here two for this so that's six eight eleven because the ropes were three and this one's worth four so that's 15. and then each building and outpost is worth one point so we've got one two three four five six seven eight so let's look at pixel here her advancement track she gets one for this pot each of these is worth one so we've got five fish there so that's six now mushrooms are each worth two so that's another four so that's ten 
Then these pairs are each worth three, and we've got six here. So that's 28. And then buildings and outposts, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then points for reputation. Well, Pixel doesn't get any for the space she's on. I'll be getting seven for being on the last point here. And then as it's a two player game, the one who is furthest along gets bonus three points. So I get 10 and Pixel gets zero. And then card bonuses is the final thing. So this card here gives me one village point for every cave that I have. So how many caves have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine points. And then I also have this one here that is giving me two points for every building that I have, but that doesn't include outposts, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's another 16 points. So that's 25 plus this is worth three, so that's 28. And this is worth two, so that's 30 points. So Pixel's card bonuses, well she's got three here and a one there, so that's four. A three there, so that's seven. Plus she's getting one point for every pear, fish, mushroom and cider. So we've got one cider, so that takes us to eight. Nine, 10, 15, 20, 21. And that means that I have won by a mile. So I have 73 points and Pixel has 57. And that is Above and Below by Red Raven Games. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. And of course, if you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family, as well as checking us out on social media. You can find us on Facebook or on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.